Hey also just to follow up on the mail bag that I did earlier today. I've been playing around with my new LM2596. Now I've just got it plugged into my bench power supply that I've made and this is just simply a um, normal 500 watt I believe um, PC ATX power supply. Um, so we've got the ground out here, then we've got 3.3 volts here, 5 volts here and 12 volts here. So this is plugged into my 12 volts. And if I apply some power to it, I have a little LED indicator. Then that is showing that we have 1.7 volts. Now, I thought this button here showed the input voltage, but for some reason it looks like it just turns the display on and off. So that button's pretty much useless. Um, we'll just use that to make sure that the display's on. This button, on the other hand, shows us 12.1 volts. And then this uh, light that's illuminated here is showing us that it's, it's giving us a figure for the input voltage. And then if you push the button again, it illuminates the output voltage indicator light. And we've got 1.7 volts on the output here. Then we just have this uh, pot to vary the voltage and if I just quickly wind that pot up then you can see that it's kind of incrementing the voltage up there. This unit can actually take uh, 40 volts on the input and then it can output anything from uh, 1.3 volts all the way out to 37 volts. So there's that kind of 3 volt drop out on the top, but that's fine. I don't expect to output anything higher than 37 volts. A couple of people have messaged me as well since the last video and have asked what's the maximum output current. It's 2 amps. Well, it's not ideal, I know, but I'm not planning on powering anything that, that takes a, that draws a high amount of current. So this should be nice. My plan is to probably fit that unit here or maybe down here i may even potentially remove these screw terminals and connect it up um, directly by just soldering some some wires into these two solder terminals on the bottom i'm not sure yet but yeah i'll probably put it down here i'll tie the ground on well the ground on the output and the ground on the input are already actually tied together. So all of that will be tied to these grounding posts up here. Then we'll just have like another, um, one of these red positive output posts down here that will be fed from, from the output of this. And that should give me a cheap and crude agreed, but very usable variable voltage power supply. So yeah, that's the LM2596. Um, I'll probably do a follow up video once I've got all of this mounted on and the uh, posts uh, screwed in and soldered down and everything. But that's my variable voltage power supply. Catch you later. Bye.